Okay, we've got something in this little ball here. Could it be a coin? A little coin ball? Mm. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a silver coin. I Morning, folks. I'm just going to finish my coffee at this little stream, streamy burny thing, and then we're going to detect this field. Again, we have done it loads of times, but I'll just keep doing it until there's nothing left, I suppose. We're going to do, we're going to start about there and do a big spiral. The last time we were here two weeks ago we found a Napoleon the third coin. Sink Son team I think it was, five cents, five pence, no five francs, five French money. Right, I'll see you at the first signal. Okay, not sure what this is. It has been something in a past life. It's some sort of shank thing in the back of it. Nothing else that I can see. I don't know what that would have been. Right, we've got something right there. Let's have a look. Oh! That is a barrel tap. A key for a barrel, I think. Barrel tap key, is that the right phrase? Oh, look at the colour. That is nice. Oh, no idea how old that is, but I like that. I've hardly ever found any of these. Right, I'm just going to give it a quick clean. Really nice green colour on it. Right, there you go. Oh, this sunshine is bad. There you go. I like that. Not sure what, how old that is, but that sort of thing, this seems to be the thing that you find on pastures, from what I've seen of other videos. Folk having a end of harvest drink or something. Yep, I like that. Right. We've got quite a deep signal here, and it, it's iron, I can see that. Oh, see, whenever I get a really deep signal, or a deep signal, it's almost always iron. And then I watch other folk, and their deep signals are like belt buckles, or... I don't know, I don't understand it. Anyway, I'll dig this thing out and see what it is. Right, it's one of them. I found that last time as well here. I don't know, I thought it was part of an old iron, but maybe it's just a door jam. But yeah, my deep signals are always iron. If anyone knows why, if you've got a theory, maybe it's a detector. <clears throat> Let me know. Right, look at this. Little thing here. I haven't cleaned it yet, but it almost looks like a tiny little figurine. Like an animal or something. A hedgehog or a pig, maybe? I bet when I clean this, it's just a melted mess. It's sort of hollow. Right, I'll have to pause you while I clean this. I can't, I can't tell. I have no idea what that is. It's like a hedgehog with a hollow back. This could just be nothing. Hold on a sec, let me see what I can do with this. Okay, it's definitely a little figurine of some sort of animal. I like that. That looks, I don't know, a pig, a boar, a little vole, mole. But why is it hollow? Why has it got a back like that? I don't know what that would have been for. Maybe just a toy. It's just the back, you think maybe it's sat and they put little things in it. Hey, that's a nice unique little thing to find. A one-off, possibly. Look at its little feet. 
Yeah. That was a nice thing to find. Right, I thought that was another bit of iron. It's not. I'll turn it around, look at that. That looks like a giant loop from a chain or something. No, it's a padlock. That is a padlock. That's a massive padlock. Yeah, it's all corroded at the bottom, but I don't mind that. Maybe we'll clean it up a bit when we get in. Yeah. Some weight to it. It doesn't fit. <sighs> Thought just for a second, I know that's... That is for a keg. But there we go, a key and a padlock. Yeah, signal in here, which... Not convinced. I've found silver up there before, and I've also found millions of hot rocks. If the pointer picks it up, it's not going to be a hot rock or coal or whatever they usually are. Ah, definitely not. See a bit of a green sort of patina there. What's that? What is that? Please don't just be a handle. That... I'm going to clean it. If that's got a pattern, that might be half of a bracelet. Although it's a bit chunky for that. A really nice patina. Right, two minutes. I'll just give this a quick clean. Hmm, <clears throat> odd. Right, hold on. Right, I, honestly, I think that might be half of a bracelet. Quite a, it's quite heavy, but it does just fit the wrist about there. So a bracelet bangle sort of thing. Man, and it looks like it's got a good bit of age to it. That could be... You know, I'm not 100%, but if it is, that's a brilliant find. Imagine that was Roman. Yeah, I think that's what that is, half a bracelet. I'm going with that just now, so I'm pleased. I'm sure someone will bust my bubble soon. Right, this is giving a good solid signal. No, it's not. Where is it? There it is. I'll dig that up. Ah! Need to be careful, that's how I snapped that the last time. Sorry, pal. It's out. It's right there. There it is, there it is. What is that? Oh, nice. Very nice. A real. Oh. <coughs> That is a shame though, I couldn't have found a smaller piece of that. Look at that, I don't even know, that might be silver plate. That's the, just the top of a little piece of cutlery. Really nicely decorated. Oh man. I'm just gonna, just check for a whole mark. Nah, I don't know if that is silver. <laughs> but like I say, I couldn't have found any less of that. Right, we've got something there that looks very green and very like a coin. I think it's a thruppence. Yep. Three pence. 
Alice Field hasn't turned out to be too bad for coins. Right, I'll, I'll clean it up. You, I never get dates on these. They're always wrecked. But I'll see what I can do. Give me a minute. There you go. It's a... Oh, there you go. 19... At the bottom there. 1947, three pence. Right, that's where the three pence just came out. Have we got a little coin spill? I'll dig it up. It's a bit of a scratchy signal, but we'll see. Right, that's where the three pence was. It's not a pocket spill, it's a piece of deep, long, absolutely solid iron. <laughs> Oh, that'll take me about 20 minutes to dig out. Maybe that's how I missed that coin all the other times, because the iron was sort of disguising it, and I just didn't bother. I've obviously come at it at a different angle today. Anyway, I'll faff about with this and see what this is. Look at the state of that. It's impossible to dig nice holes when you're going that deep, unless you make a gigantic crater. I'm an idiot. I've just been wandering around, wondering why it was so quiet. My detector was off. What a moron. There we go. That might help. Right, there you go. There's a slightly bigger plug for this deep thing. It's at least not iron. If it is this, that might just be a stone. Oh, it is, it is just a stone. So this, oh, this is going to be deep iron. Oh, no. <clears throat> I can't do this in this heat. It's too much. <clears throat> Hold on, let me get this stuff out. <clears throat> there you go. A big iron disc. What is that? Hmm. Okay, we've got something in this little ball here. Could it be a coin? A little coin ball? Hmm. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a silver coin! I can see the leaves. I can see... Oh, oh. I think that's a George III silver. Is it? Or is it a sixpence or a Queen Victor? Oh, man. That is 100% a silver coin. Man, it's incredibly polished on the front, though. Who have we got? Who have we got? It's Queen Victoria! Oh! Is it? Ah, it is. It's really hard doing this looking through the phone screen. Right. Let's get a date. Hold on, I have to pause you. I can't do this looking through this thing. Look at that though! Look at that! And we don't get many coins on this field! Silver! Right, I'll clean it up. Right, look at that! Queen Victoria, one shilling, 1852. Or 1856. Right at the bottom there. 167-odd years old bit of silver. That is fantastic. I love this. You never know what the next signal is going to be. So one shilling, but it's been rubbed off. Look at that. Delighted with that. Yeah, I like the sound of that one. 
hold on. Right, I can see it, it's there. And I'm going to jinx this, I know it, but I think that might be another saddler's badge. We've had so many on this field. It's just got that look about it. Is it? Oh, I think it might be. Oh man, maybe it's not. Right, hold on. Ah, uh, maybe not. I'll clean it up. I should have kept my mouth shut. I think that's just a blobby lead. Right, I'll clean it up. If it's not a blobby lead, I'll come back to you. It is though, isn't it? <laughs> it definitely is just a random blob of complete snot. Right, look at this. For once I can tell you definitely what this is. Because again, I found one the last time we were here and multiple people told me it's part of an umbrella. And this one also has bits of the wood stuff stuck in it still. So it's the exact same thing. That's what a few people said. It's off an umbrella. So there you go. Maybe they were sitting here in the summer just like this. It's absolutely roasting under the shade of their little umbrellas. Alright, that's me done. There we go. Another good day. Beautiful silver. Beautiful little bit of cutlery. Quite a bit of lead. Iron. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's a bracelet but be honest let me know what you think <laughs> and I like that a little pig or whatever and that and that and possibly that right that's us I'll see you next time let me know if you can ID anything please because I usually can't right see ya bye